no, 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 that doesn't count. No, no, no. I did tell the girl, what are we doing in this cheap hotel? But I never said, what are we doing in love? What are we doing in this cheap hotel? Yes. What are we doing in love? I don't think so. Good morning, Double R Radio, 9.31 in the morning, Thursday morning. Stretch run towards the weekend, live on Facebook right now. Join me and say hello. Good morning, shout out going to Yvette Charo. There we go. She joined me about a week and a half ago on my morning show. La Yvette Charo. Good morning, shout out going to Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas, in the casa. There we go. She'll be joining me Saturday night for my four-year anniversary celebration. So will Yvette Charo. Her and her husband or her boyfriend or her girlfriend, she's bringing one of them. Saturday night. There we go. Now, I tell you what, it is time for celebrity birthdays. Let's knock it out. Let's see what celebrities are celebrating the birthday today, July the 20th, 2017. Here we go. You know, everybody gets after me. Robert, you got to get to know more of your celebrities. I don't know none of these people. I'm looking at them right now. Who in the hell are you? And who in the hell are you? I don't know y'all. Why are y'all considered celebrities? There we go. Ray Allen, 42 years old. Former basketball player that sorry mother he hit that three pointer when he was with the Miami Heat against the San Antonio Spurs. I hate you, Ray Allen. <laughs> right? I still can't get over it. Good morning, shout out, good out to Stephanie Marie. There we go. Good seeing you. Good to hear from you. There we go. Evelyn Franco. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Also, Mini Flores. La Mini Flores eh? del Valley, de la Valley. There we go, Valley Girl. Good morning. Anyway, let's see here. Who else is celebrating birthdays? Carlos Santana. Eh? Carlos Santana, 70 years old. Wow. He's 70 years old and still rocking. As a Carlos Santana. Uh, let's see here. Who else is celebrating? Natalie Wood would have been celebrating her birthday today. Um, Y'all do know that Natalie Wood, uh, she died. She drowned. You know, her death, she drowned. Natalie Wood passed away. She drowned on a boat. True. And, and there you go. That's just, I'm not going to call it a fun fact. That's just a fact. There we go. Good morning. Shout out to Ida Ramirez. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Omar Epps, 44 years old. And um, um, I don't know none of these characters. What the? I don't know. I'm not going to say their names. I don't know who they are. Okay, and uh, I think that's it on Celebrity Birthdays. Let's see what's going on out here in this in our, should I say, crazy, crazy world. Check this out. A woman went to go see, uh, I was going to say an optometrist. Is that right? Optometrist, eye doctor, optometrist. I think I got that right. She went to go see an optometrist because she couldn't see her. She couldn't see out of one eye. She said, something's wrong, doctor, something's wrong. And, uh, well, when, the, when it was all said and done, the doctor found 27 contact lenses in one eye. 27 contact lenses in one eye. How in the hell do you get confused and forget to take out maybe one, maybe two? No more than three, but absolutely no more than four. She had 27 contact lenses in one eye. Man! <laughs> no wonder she was dating ugly guys. No wonder she dated me. Good morning, shout out going to Pamela Pena. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Yvette Charles saying, what the hell, Robert Rivas? Hey, Yvette, I got a question for you, Yvette. Um, yesterday I noticed that you uh, put on a video uh, singing happy birthday to your hubby, Jerry Poe. Now, I noticed the cake. It had like about a thousand candles on it. And then as the, you had four balls. You had four balls. No, not you, but the cake. No, 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 not you. Not, no, no, you didn't have four balls. The cake had four balls. It had one in each corner. What were those balls, Yvette? What, why did you put those balls outside of the cake? What purpose do they, I mean, what purpose do they serve, Yvette? Why did you put those balls outside of Jerry's cake? Hey, man. What's your problem? <laughs> right? Oh, there were cupcakes. They looked like balls. Wow, they did. They looked like, but they didn't look like cupcakes. I know what a cupcake looks like. Believe me, uh, <laughs> I've dated enough women. I know what a cupcake looks like, Yvette. That did not look like a cupcake whatsoever. <laughs> it really didn't. I don't know what the hell you put on there, but it didn't look like a cupcake to me. Anyway, do not forget to join me Saturday night. We're two days away for my four-year anniversary celebration happening at the Martini Bar. You can still get your pre-sale tickets 
at my website at robertewasradio.com. Just click on the store button and uh, go ahead and purchase your tickets. Pre-sale tickets, 10 buckaroos. Get your tickets, okay? There we go. Of course, performing live in the living color. If you've never seen this band before, they are simply awesome. Mixtape will be in the house playing all of your favorite music from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. I mean, it's the, uh, Patsy Torres will be in the house. Jaime Solis will be in the house. Former lead singer of the Liberty Band, Jesse Chuy Gonzalez. Abel Martinez on the one and two, and of course, yours truly. Hey, that's what I'm there for, to be celebrating four years of being on internet radio. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Uh-oh, Yvette says coffee time. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, good morning. Shout out going to Sarah Duarte. There we go. Good morning, Sarah. Anyways, it is Thursday morning, and um, I'm kind of tired, man. I'm a little beat up here. You know, I went about two 12-packs of beer yesterday, and it felt kind of weird. And let me tell you why. Um, I don't buy canned beer. I'm Chief Lado. You know, people tell me, you're Chief Lado, Robert. A beer's a beer. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am Chief Lado. But to me, it's kind of weird buying canned beer. I'm just, I don't know. I guess I'm Chief Lado. But they were on sale. Hey, man, and I'm, I know, hey, I'm always looking to save a buck. So I said, well, you know, two 12 packs of beer, a case of beer for $14, can Bud Light. I'll take it. I'll take the deal. Why not? I'll save a buck. And there you go. So anyways, as the, now I got canned beer in my fridge. <laughs> you're probably going, what's wrong with that, Robert? What's wrong with canned beer? Do you think you're too good for canned beer? No, I didn't say that. I just said it just looks weird opening in my fridge and seeing canned beer in there. It just does not look right. It really doesn't. 9.37 in the morning. Let's get it going. Let's have some cake by the ocean on this Thursday morning. Good morning. Double R Radio.